Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitridge, the alternate historian. Welcome to my first audio-only book review featuring Harry Turtledove's Joe Steele. Published in 2015, Joe Steele is actually an expanded novel based on a 2003 short story of the same name. The story itself was inspired by the lyric, Stalin was a Democrat, from Janice Ian's God in the FBI. Well, Turtledove took that line and rolled with it when he wrote Joe Steele. In this world, Stalin's parents immigrate to America shortly before he was born, along with the parents of several other Soviet leaders, coincidentally. Going by the name Joe Steele, he pursues a career in politics and manages to earn the Democratic nomination for president in 1932, after his challenger, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, dies under mysterious circumstances. With vast amounts of popular support from desperate Americans, Steele sets off to save America from the Great Depression by ignoring the Constitution and punishing anyone who gets in his way. Steele's presidency, from his nomination to his death, is told from the point of view of two reporter brothers, Mike and Charlie Sullivan. Both react differently to the police state America is becoming under Steele. Charlie, for example, keeps his head down and believes Steele's extreme tactics are unpleasant but necessary if they have any hope of fixing America. Mike, on the other hand, doesn't see any difference between Steele and other dictators like Hitler or Trotsky, who succeeded Lenin as leader of the Soviet Union in this timeline. Their choices set each brother down a different path, as Mike is thrown into a prison camp in Montana, while Charlie winds up as a speechwriter for Steele. The plausibility of Joe Steele is on the soft side. Despite the different experiences Stalin would have growing up in America, his personality is pretty much the same as in our timeline, but then it wouldn't be an interesting story if Steele was a meek janitor. There are a lot of parallels with our history as well. For example, Steele makes some of the same choices that FDR made in our timeline. Although, as author S.M. Sterling pointed out in my old blog, some of the things FDR did were what anyone, or anyone smart, would do in his position. Honestly, what bothers me more is the number of Soviet leaders who are also born in America. I can suspend disbelief enough to believe Steele would have the same personality as Stalin in our timeline, but all these other guys too? It weakens the story, and I think the novel would have had a bigger impact if Turtle found some native-born scumbags to buddy up with a dictator. Near the end of the book, you do begin to see some major changes to history. For example, there is no Manhattan Project, thus Japan is invaded by the United States and then divided between the Communist North and Capitalist South, much like Korea is in our timeline. Plus, Israel is never mentioned, which makes me think Steele was not as sympathetic to Zionism as Truman was in our timeline. In fact, several Jewish scientists, including Einstein, are purged by Steele for not telling him about the atom bomb, so that could explain why Steele was not interested in a homeland for the Jews. Furthermore, without spoiling anything, I also feel that America is a lot worse off at the start of this alternate Cold War than in our timeline. I would not be surprised if the United States actually loses in the long run if Turtledove ever decides to revisit this world. To conclude this review, on the whole, Joe Steele was a flawed yet entertaining read. I like seeing Stalin instead of Hitler, who Turtle was written a ton of alternate history either featuring him or a stand-in. Although the book did drag in the middle, it still was a lot less flabbier than a novel of some of his long-running series, and the ending had a powerful emotional core to it, especially in this day and age. Turtle fans, people who enjoy dystopias but want to read something besides 1984, will certainly want to pick up Joe Steele. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments, and perhaps I'll do more of these short, audio-only book reviews in the future. Well, that is all to say on the subject. If you like what I do, please comment, subscribe, share this video, or support me on Patreon. I'm Matt Mitrovich, The Alternate Historian. Bye.